At New American Energy, we are connectors, protectors, leaders, job creators, friends, and neighbors, and always at your service. Hey, where'd you get that breakfast so fast? Casey's. Fastest breakfast in the Midwest. Try Casey's new ultimate beer cheese breakfast pizza, breakfast burrito, or a new bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. Wow, that was fast. And now get a breakfast sandwich or pizza slice plus Casey's premium bean to cup coffee for just four bucks. I rode a horse once. <laughs> Sometimes people who seem to know everything... Dental insurance costs a fortune and it covers nothing. Don't. For instance, personal plans from Delta Dental cut the cost of many procedures in half. So be careful what you hear. How important are teeth anyway? Get the facts. Contact Delta Dental about saving with personal dental plans today. By focusing only on meat and grocery, we can do those things to the best of our abilities. No frills, no gimmicks. You're gonna get top quality meat, top quality produce, top quality customer service. They always tell us, sell it as low as you can. Sell it as low as you possibly can. And we work hard so we can keep those prices lower. And that's what Fairway does to a lot of people. They take care of people. I have one thing to accomplish and it's that. In Iowa, we all play by the same rules. Hard work pays off, practice makes perfect, success is something you earn, and teamwork helps us all be winners. The Iowa Pork Producers Association is proud to support statewide high school athletics. Because on our team, and on yours, what we bring to the table is what brings us all together. Learn more about our commitment to Iowa at iowapork.org. So this year's student athletes participating are taking home some really pretty special souvenirs from this tournament. Can you talk a little bit about what those are? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the, our, our signature ball series is something that's been long cherished by, by all these athletes. And, and we're really proud this year to offer these kids um, bag tags so that they can, they can have that momentum memento moving forward, as well as the signature volleyballs so they can have their teammates, their coaches, parents and other people who have helped them along their journey get to this tournament and 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 show off the things that they've worked so hard over so many years to get here awesome well brent thanks so much and thanks again to the iowa farm bureau our proud title sponsor and good afternoon from Extreme Arena in Coralville, Iowa, the home of the Girls State Volleyball Tournament presented by the Iowa Farm Bureau. We have reached semifinal Wednesday at State and two programs that have claimed the last two Class 4A titles will clash on the court as the top-seeded Cedar Rapids Xavier Saints go head-to-head -head with the five-seed Western Dubuque Bobcats. And hello, volleyball fans. It's great to have you with us once again from Coralville on the Girls Union Network, powered by Mid-American Energy. I'm Hunter Phillips, and we're rolling through the semifinals here at State. The 5A championship is already set, as Iowa City Liberty will face Pleasant Valley tomorrow. 
The winner of this match will await the winner of North Scott and Clear Creek Amana. Now let's take a look at the road to the championship for both teams, beginning with the number one seed, Cedar Rapids Xavier, who impressed in a three-set sweep over the eight-seed Bishop Heelan on Monday. Sophomore sensation Libby Fandel led the Saints with 16 kills, while Annika Ivester added 11. Senior Anna Shoger tallied 31 assists in the quarterfinal round victory redeeming themselves after a first-round exit in 2021. Xavier has their sights sets on getting back to the title match for the first time since 2020. Meanwhile, the five-seed and defending 4A champions Western Dubuque won a thriller in the quarterfinals, outlasting the four-seed Indianola in five sets. The Bobcats took sets two, four, and five to punch their ticket to the semifinals. Ava Ramler and Libby Lansing combined for 31 kills and 11 blocks in the victory, while senior Ella Meyer collected 27 digs. Western Dubuque is looking to be the first back-to-back -back champion in Class 4A since Dubuque Wallert, who claimed three straight titles from 2016 through 18. It's sure to be a fun one to watch here today at Extreme Arena. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll bring you the team introductions and starting lineups for the semi-final round battle between Western Dubuque and Cedar Rapids Xavier on the Girls' Union Network, powered by Mid-American Energy. At Mid-American Mid Energy, Energy, we are connectors. Protectors. Leaders. Job creators. Friends. And neighbors. And always at your service. Fairway Values Family and we treat our employees and our customers like their family. If you're looking for a place to shop, um, our service is amazing. We have put an emphasis on, on hiring good people. One of the things that we talk about is just doing the right thing. And that is so key to this day and age. Fairway just isn't about uh, selling groceries. It's about taking care of people. That, to me, is, is the best thing we can do at Fairway. Buy one large pizza, get a second large pizza, 40% off with promo code GATHER. Eastern Iowa programs set the battle here at Extreme Arena in Coralville. Western Dubuque and Cedar Rapids Xavier for a trip to the Class 4A state title match, which will take place tomorrow. These are two teams that are no strangers to one another. In fact, they have met 13 previous times if you go back to 2007. Cedar Rapids Xavier has had a firm handle on the series during that span, leading 10 games to three. These two teams actually met earlier in the year on October 11th at Cedar Rapids Xavier High School match in which the Saints were able to edge the Bobcats two sets to none. But the last win for Western Dubuque came here at the state tournament back in 2019 in the quarterfinal round, and that went five sets. So two teams that are certainly 
no strangers to one another, two teams that know what it takes to be able to perform at a high level once you flip that calendar into November and reach the state tournament. We may have a different venue here at Ex Extreme Arena, but it's always fun to see the teams that are perennial powers set to duke it out. So it'll be a fun one to watch here again between the top seed, Cedar Rapids Xavier, and the five seed, Western Dubuque. Two teams that have claimed the last two Class 4A championships. Extreme Arena within fairly close proximity, especially for Cedar Rapids Xavier. Maybe a little bit more of a jaunt for Western Dubuque. Both fan bases showed up very big on Monday. Both teams had the day off yesterday as classes 3A, 2A, and 1A had their quarterfinal rounds. And now the fans are back here to make some noise for their programs competing in the semifinals today. So the warm-ups have finished. And now here in just a matter of moments, we'll turn things down to Tim Fitzpatrick, our public address announcer, as we will meet the teams and get the starting lineups before our semifinal round battle here in Coralville. State Volleyball 4A semifinal matchup featuring the Western Dubuque Bobcats and the Xavier Saints. The Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union promotes good sportsmanship by participants, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting the participants, officials, and spectators in a positive manner. Profanity, racial, sexist, or abusive comments, or intimidating actions directed at officials, participants, coaches, team representatives, or event personnel will not be tolerated and are grounds for removal. We thank you for your cooperation and invite you to enjoy the game. Fans, it's now time to introduce our players for today's 4A semifinal matchup. First of all, here are your non-starters for the Western Dubuque Bobcats. Number two, Isabel Ernzen. Number three, Ella Clark. Number six, Bryn Walters. Number 13, Franny Heiberger. Number 14, Ashley Willenberg. Number 15, Jacinda McDermott. Number 18, Campbell Bright. And number 19, Kate Harbaugh. Your assistant coaches, Libby Ganson, Ashley Botsford, and Brooke Klosterman. Now, here's your starting lineup for the Bobcats of Western Dubuque. A senior, number four, Erica Ernzen. A senior, number five, Ava Demmer. A junior, number eight, Allie Ryder. A junior, number 10, Ava Ramler. A senior, number 11, Libby Lansing. A junior, number 12, Haley Wolfcool. Your libero is a senior, number one, Ella Meyer. Head coach for the Bobcats, Megan Sherman. And now let's meet the Xavier Saints. Here are your non-starters. Number one, Naomi Duran. Number five, Molly Garrison. Number six, Ali Rinkenberger. Number seven, Sierra Duran. Number nine, Taylor Rexroth. Number 12, Chloe McDermott. Number 14, Sydney Huber. And number 16, Carissa Timmerman. Assistant coaches, Kate Clank, Amy Weiland, Nancy Oberding, and Seth. Williams. Now, here's your starting lineup for the Xavier Saints. A senior, 
Number three, Macy Cadlick. A sophomore, number 10, Carly Yonker. A senior, number 11, Anna Shoger. A sophomore, number 13, Libby Fandel. A senior, number 17, Annika Ivester. And a junior, number 19, Ava Turner. Your libero is a senior, number four, Brooklyn Miller. Head coach for the Saints, Austin Filer. And now let me introduce your officials for this 4A semifinal. Our first referee, Sarah Tyne. Second referee, Casey Woodley. Line judges, Jim Doyle and Jennifer Lewis. All right, who's ready for tournament volleyball? Well, the scene has been set here in Coralville. The teams exchanging high fives before we get underway. Once again, Western Dubuque will be on the right side of your screen. All white uniforms with black numerals and lettering, red trim, and Cedar Rapids Xavier will be on the left side of your screen. And their navy blue uniforms with white numerals and lettering and gray trim. Very large crowd on hand here at Extreme Arena, the new home of the Girls State Volleyball Tournament presented by the Iowa Farm Bureau. This week has just absolutely flown by, but can't help but be impressed with just the atmosphere that this place has created for all the student athletes and for the Iowa girl. All right, we're ready for set one. Western Dubuque will get the afternoon started with the opening serve, and it will be Ella Meyer, the senior libero. And off we go. Close play at the net. A point awarded to Western Dubuque, Libby Lansing with the drop shot. Lansing has been instrumental in the Bobcats getting back here to the state tournament and was huge in the quarterfinal round. Victory against Indianola. Swing from the right side. Cannot be dug up by Miller in the back. So a hot start for Western Dubuque. Haley Wolfkill getting the point and continuing to serve is Meyer, who just announced her commitment to Western Illinois University to play volleyball. And the net violation will turn things over on the side out to Cedar Rapids Xavier. Macy Cadlick, the senior outside hitter, serves it. Received by Meyer. They go to Fandel. Cross-court swing dug up by Meyer. Swing from the right side. It was dug up nicely, but Western Dubuque wisely lets it float out of play. So an early 3-1 advantage in favor of the reigning champions in Class 4A Western Dubuque. Sending it over is Ava Rambler, the junior, who also had a very big outing. Drop shot falls in again for Western Dubuque. Ava Demmer, the senior setter that knows how to be able to provide points, given the right opportunity, had 31 kills. Entering the state tournament, Fandel. Must have gone right over the net when attempting that kill, so early momentum on the side of the five seed Western Dubuque. Bobcats continue to serve. Fandel from just outside the 10 feet line goes right into the net. Been a bit of an uncharacteristic start here for the Saints. Who had a 311 kill percentage back in the quarterfinal round. And you know that the nerves, no matter how many times you've been here, will certainly settle in 
in the very beginning with this raucous atmosphere. Ava Rambler. Makes it a 7-1 lead here in the opening set for the Bobcats. Fandel trying to get the team going, and that is going to help right there. Fandel just a sophomore, and you see Miller checking out for Cedar Rapids Xavier. Substitutions today are brought to you by IMT Insurance. Learn how you can be worry-free with IMT at imtins.com. Back to serve is Ivester. Libby Fandel back-to-back -back kills. At 16 in the win over Bishop Heelan on Monday. Ivester had a few aces on Monday. Team as a whole had 12. Fandel sending it a little awkwardly over. Front set. Nothing going for the Bobcats. Ava Turner getting the block on Ava Ramler. Ivester continues to serve. Six foot four middle hitter. Senior will play her collegiate volleyball at the University of Omaha at Nebraska. Serve goes out of play. Still a four point lead now for Western Dubuque. As an IMT insurance substitution is in for Western Dubuque. Isabel Ernzen, the senior. She also played very well down the stretch. And the Bobcats win over Indianola. A match that really saw a lot of ebbs and flows. It was a bit of a roller coaster ride, which that's what you come to expect here at State. Falling in the first set, then won the second set in Western Dubuque. Indianola took the third set and just nearly were able to put the Bobcats away, but Western Dubuque made some big plays in the fourth set and then just really had all the momentum going into the fifth. Fandel swipes it across court. Libby Fandel, just such a fantastic player to watch. She can attack you in so many ways. Fandel, right there, went through the block. Now a free ball sent over, sent over to the strong side. And there is a swing by Libby Lansing. Libby Lansing had 14 kills in Western Dubuque's win over Indianola. Also had seven blocks. All-state selection a year ago just gets it over the net. A beautiful-looking serve, but able to regroup and bring it down is Ava Turner, the six-foot-two-inch middle hitter, one of seven juniors on the Cedar Rapids Xavier team that is at state for the seventh consecutive year, 11th total trip to state, one state title to their credit that came two years ago. Fandel. You want to talk about one of the best serves in the state, you're going to see it. They have a beautiful angle to be able to show it to you. Just the amount of topspin that she is able to create. She is one of the state leaders in ace serves per set. Despite the diving effort from Miller, Franny Heiberger able to slam it home to be able to maintain a lead for Western Dubuque. It's 11-8 here in set number one. They play it to the center for Turner. Left side for Heiberger. Meyer with the dig that helps set things up on the right side. Incredible dig from Ernzen. She had a lot of those on Monday. And her teammates are able to back her up. Heiberger with her second kill here in the opening set. One of three Bobcats to record two kills. Now 
Ella Meyer has just been so stoic, so calm and collected in the back row, already with three digs to go along with two assists. Free ball play here for the Bobcats. Along the right side, an emphatic block placed by Macy Koblick. 5'11 outside hitter. Entered the state tournament with 17 total blocks on the season. Sixth most on the team, but you couldn't tell by that right there. She would look like one of the leaders in that category. Just a fundamental block. Be able to pull within three for the top seed, Cedar Rapids, Xavier Saints. There is Cadillac pulling off the block and out of bounds. So a good spurt by the senior, one of seven seniors for Cedar Rapids, Xavier. Entering the semifinal round with a 31-4 record. It's been a magical season up to this point for the Saints. Monica Ivester recording the block. Ivester with the team high, 69 blocks coming into the state tournament. Heiberger, and that tooled off the block, right side out of bounds. Franny Heiberger, a five foot seven senior. One of six seniors for the Bobcats. Led by fifth year head coach Megan Sherman. But Ivester is able to bounce right back. And now just a one point lead here for Western Dubuque. Carly Yonker, the sophomore to serve, received. And the attack attempt just went right in front of the net. Ended up being four hits anyway. So now we're tied at 13. So Cedar Rapids Xavier has really settled in after an early flurry by Western Dubuque. Trying to get back into it, but Ivester really in a groove, putting herself in the right position. And it's six foot four, just so tough to be able to get anything past her. Miller sets it to the center. Ivester's attack attempt gets dug up. Trying to go for the drop shot, but it went out of bounds. And gives Xavier a two-point lead. Timeout Western Dubuque here on the Girls Union Network, powered by Mid-American Energy. Obsessively, relentlessly at your service. To me, it means being there 24-7. Rain or shine, during storms, after storms. Being a first responder to the community, to my customers. Being there to get the customers back on and to see the smiles on their face. To provide the kind of reliability that we can hold our heads high about and we want to keep our customers safe. Safety's first around here. And that's rewarding. What was once a 7-1 lead for Western Dubuque here earlier in the first set has been dwindled, and now Cedar Rapids Xavier is back in front, 15-13 out of excellent play from the likes of Libby Fandel, who really got the team going with a pair of kills. Annika Ivester has been so tough up front in the front row defensively. Macy Cadlick as well making crucial plays. Xavier such a deep team. Yonker serve goes out. Side out for Western Dubuque. Ella Meyer. First in Class 4A in digs per set, averaging almost 7 per set. Been a phenomenal leader for this team. But kill from Annika Ivester. Got through that front row and nothing the back row could do to try to dig it out. 
Candlick serving. Center set, Fandel. And it just touched the paint right there, the line. Fandel with just such tremendous court vision has the confidence of knowing that when she goes cross court, she's going to place it right on the money. 17-14, Xavier in the first set. They're going to award that to Western Dubuque. Saying that that swing stayed in play. Haley Wolfkill had the kill, and now Wolf Cool will serve. Free ball. Lansing. And it just went out of bounds. Lansing usually sure-handed on those kind of plays, but just not the touch that she wanted. Substitutions in for both teams as now the serve goes to Annika Ivester of Cedar Rapids Xavier. A dig by Meyer. And the swing by Rambler goes right into the net. Eighth attack error in this opening set for Western Dubuque. Ivester continuing to serve. A little too much on that one from Rambler. Rambler with two kills, but that's now six errors. On the junior and Western Dubuque. We'll burn another timeout here in our opening set on the Girls' Union Network, powered by Mid-American Energy. Obsessively, relentlessly at your service. To me, it means being there 24-7, rain or shine, during storms, after storms. Being a first responder to the community, to my customers. Being there to get the customers back on and to see the smiles on their face. To provide the kind of reliability that we can hold our heads high about. And we want to keep our customers safe. Safety's first around here. And... That's rewarding. Well, it took about seven points by Western Dubuque for Cedar Rapids Xavier to settle in here in our opening set. The top seed Saints leading the five seed Bobcats 20 to 15. Western Dubuque again led by Ninth year head coach Megan Sherman trying to regroup her team here as we're reaching the tail end of the first set. Monica Ivester continuing to serve for Xavier out of the timeout. The go along the right side and the block goes out of bounds. Ava Rambler needing that one to fall. She will check out as Franny Heiberger will be along the front row for an IMT insurance substitution. Isabel earns in the serve. And a drop shot by Sugar. Gives a 21st point to Cedar Rapids Xavier. Sugar had 31 assists for the Saints against Bishop Heelan on Monday. They set it up for Fandel. Weak side. No doubt about it. Libby Fandel. With now five kills and 11 attack opportunities. Bobcats have to send over a free ball and Fandel with her second attack error. We'll give it back to Western Dubuque trying to claw their way back here in this opening set. Libby Lansing, the senior, serves it. Received. Turner drops it over for Xavier. Miller with the side set, and Fandel's swing 
gets blocked out of bounds. So point two, Xavier, two away from taking set number one. You hear the student sections here at Extreme Arena spell Iowa, I-O-W-A. After all, we are in the Coralville, Iowa City area. That's one thing we can all agree on. It's just the pride of being in the Hawkeye State. So Western Dubuque serving. And Miller just having difficulty handling the serve. Our first Kruger Seed service ace of the match, or second rather for Western Dubuque. Once you add that one, Demmer had one earlier. Cadillac with her second kill just placed it right along the back row where nobody was. And now a set point here for Cedar Rapids Xavier. Brooklyn Miller, the senior libero. Collected by Ernzen. Miller goes back to Cadlick. Blocked by the Bobcats. Cadlick from the 10 foot line. Reached over. Forcing the Saints' hand. And we're going to have a double contact. Cadlick was a little unsure of how to handle that ball. Erica Ernzen, sister of Isabel, both seniors. Erica serving. Trying to keep things alive here for the Bobcats because it's still a set point for the Saints. But Ivester shuts down the Bobcats in the opening set. Cedar Rapids Xavier takes it 25-20 to in this Class 4A semifinal. We'll be back with the second set after these messages on the Girls' Union Network, powered by Mid-American Energy. Protectors, leaders, job creators, friends, and neighbors, and always at your service. Sometimes people who seem to know everything. Dental insurance costs a fortune and it covers nothing. Don't. For instance, personal plans from Delta Dental cut the cost of many procedures in half. So be careful what you hear. How important are teeth anyway? Get the facts. Contact Delta Dental about saving with personal dental plans today. In Iowa, we all play by the same rules. Hard work pays off, practice makes perfect, success is something you earn, and teamwork helps us all be winners. The Iowa Pork Producers Association is proud to support statewide high school athletics. Because on our team and on yours, what we bring to the table is what brings us all together. Learn more about our commitment to Iowa at iowapork.org. Pizza, get a second large pizza, 40% off with promo code GATHER. Hey fans, Central College has you covered with career building programs and with tuition less than $20,000 a year and tons of scholarship, it's the best decision ever. Apply today at central.edu. Bobcat Nation 
in full force here at Extreme Arena in Coralville. Hunter Phillips along with our crew here on the Girls Union Network, powered by Mid-American Energy. Delighted to have you with us here on Semifinal Wednesday. Cedar Rapids Xavier taking the opening set. 25 to 20. Now how does Western Dubuque, the reigning 4A champs on the overpass here, how do they respond in the second set? Monica Ivester's attack attempt just too strong. So opening point for Western Dubuque. On court number two, North Scott and Clear Creek Amana are now in the second set. Clear Creek Amana upset Marion in the quarterfinal round, and right now they are up one set to nothing over the two seed North Scott. We'll continue to keep you updated from court number two while the action continues here on court number one. Point, and it's just got a little out of sorts there close to the net for Western Dubuque. Annika Ivester serves. And they're going to say that it stayed in for a Kruger Seed service ace. First service ace of the match for Cedar Rapids Xavier. Once again, they had 12 in their quarterfinal round victory over Bishop Heelan. Saints were looking to play on that overpass, but it stayed over on Western Dubuque's half, and so maybe that just got the Saints out of position. Fandel. That's not out of position. Second time she has pinned it right there, right on the paint. Anna Shoger, the senior, serves. For Xavier. Lansing drops it down. Jumped over to her right and then dropped it off to her left. The little plays like that that help you win matches, help you win sets. That serve out of bounds. The side out for Cedar Rapids Xavier. Isabel Ernzen had one of the two service aces for Western Dubuque back in that opening set. Libby Fandel. Again, just that high arching serve with the top spin. Not many players can really master that. Turner, Meyer dug it up, but then Turner on the second volley. He's able to drop it down to give Cedar Rapids Xavier their fifth point of the second set. The Saints led by seventh year head coach Austin Feiler on the end of the bench there on your screen. 212 wins now in his career at Cedar Rapids Xavier High School. Franny Heiberger. Cadlick. A wide set, a little miscommunication. Free ball. Turner. And it did go out of bounds. So Western Dubuque, very fortunate that Turner was just a little off target on that swing. And here is Libby Lansing. Was an all-tournament team selection a year ago. But the Saints able to bounce back with Macy Kandlick, who has been very solid here in the semifinal round. Three kills, two digs, a solo block, and an assisted block. Brooklyn Miller serves. Kendlick. Now unable to get the bump set there with Western Dubuque. Trying was Bryn Walters. Largest lead for Xavier here in this third set. Three points. Miller. Weak side set. And Heiberger. 
grabbing her first kill of set number two. Her and Libby Lanson each with a team high four kills on the afternoon. Ivester punched it over. Meyer had no choice but to just send it over from far back, and Ivester's swing goes right through the defense. Harley Yonker now serving after that kill by Ivester. Her fourth. Heiberger. Ivester from the center. Really deceiving her game because you don't know how she is going to attack you. You're anticipating a powerful swing, but then she's able to just lightly hit it in the center. A little awkward handle for Western Dubuque. I think there were too many contacts, but either way, it went out of bounds. So sometimes it's not how you draw it up, but it can catch the other team. Off sequence, off balance. Bobcats down by three, looking to string together a rally. Cadlick right along the line, and she is able to pin it in. What an impressive showing from the senior here this, this far at the state tournament. Back to serve. Beautiful serve, and now beginning the set from the back is Cadillac Fandel. And a point for the Saints. And Western Dubuque will want to talk things over down by five here in the second set. Cedar Rapids Xavier leads one set to nothing here on the Girls Union Network, powered by Mid American Energy. Obsessively, relentlessly at your service. To me, it means being there 24-7. Rain or shine, during storms, after storms. Being a first responder to the community, to my customers. Being there to get the customers back on and to see the smiles on their face. To provide the kind of reliability that we can hold our heads high about. And we want to keep our customers safe. Safety's first around here. And that's rewarding. The lead has jumped up to five for Cedar Rapids Xavier in our second set from Extreme Arena in Coralville. The Bobcat bench wanting to talk things over as you're starting to see Cadillac as well as Fandel and Ivester really take over for Cedar Rapids Xavier. Cadillac has been excellent serving. She'll send it over. Received by the Bobcats. Fandel testing that back row. And then Ivester able to swarm in on Ryder. Western Dubuque has really wanted to get Allie Ryder, the junior, going, but haven't yet up to this point. Bobcats down by six. Block. Going out of bounds. Wolf cool with the kill. Able to get the Bobcats within five. And here's Ella Meyer with that left handed serve. Ivester. Pair of Bobcats send it back. Free ball sent over by Cadillac. Lansing slams it home. Lansing trying to will her Bobcats back here in the second set. Fellow senior Ella Meyer. Fandel. Good effort diving there from Ernzen, but Fandel just precise and where to put it. Nine kills, a match high for Fandel. Who now has 25 total kills here in the state tournament.
Turner from the middle. Lansing. And in that violation on Cedar Rapids Xavier. Credit again to Libby Lansing. They really got the Saints out of position. 13-9 though, Saints are still in front. Fandel. Just splicing it right through the defense. Just makes it look so easy. Bren Walters in for Western Dubuque. As Shoger serves for Cedar Rapids Xavier. That violation, the second here in the second set on Cedar Rapids Xavier. Give credit to Ava Ramler for really, again, providing enough power on that. She will check out. Ava Demmer is back in for Cedar Rapids, or excuse me, Western Dubuque, and there's a service ace by Isabel Ernzen, her second Kruger Seed service ace of the match, and that is the kind of plays that Western Dubuque will need to get back into the second set, still very much within reach. And there is a block against Libby Fandel. Combination block, Lansing was there, as well as Ava Demmer. Sometimes you're able to make those adjustments midway through a set, midway through a match. You know how to better defend. But then on the other side, Fandel says, I'll make my own adjustment pins it in the right far corner. 15 to 12, Cedar Rapids Xavier over Western Dubuque. The winner of this match will either face the two seed North Scott or the six seed Clear Creek Amana in tomorrow's Class 4A championship. Turner, Meyer dug it, overpass, and then Turner is able to hit it down. Just those little errors right there you cannot afford to have when you are handling those serves. Four-point lead for the Saints. Heiberger. That violation is Heiberger. It's just a little too close there, and Western Dubuque will burn their second and final time out of the second set. 17-12, Cedar Rapids Xavier on the Girls' Union Network, powered by Mid-American Energy. Obsessively, relentlessly at your service. To me, it means being there 24-7, rain or shine, during storms, after storms. Being a first responder to the community, to my customers. Being there to get the customers back on and to see the smiles on their face. To provide the kind of reliability that we can hold our heads high about. And we want to keep our customers safe. Safety's first around here. And that's rewarding. Back here at Extreme Arena in Coralville. The new home of the Girls State Volleyball Tournament presented by the Iowa Farm Bureau had been held in Cedar Rapids for 31 years. But I think it's safe to say that this is going to be the home of state volleyball for years to come. It's the home of the University of Iowa's volleyball program. All the restaurants, shops in the area filled with pink. Welcoming the Iowa girl, welcoming the fans. It's been a spectacular week here for state volleyball. Fandel serving, causing issues for Earns and this out of the Western Dubuque timeout. Turner. Just a little over the net there. Seventeen thirteen. Cedar Rapids Savior. Took the opening set 25-20 despite a early 7-1 lead for Western Dubuque. They really got going, but Macy Cadlick has really gotten going along with the rest of the Saints. Cadlick with six kills, second most on the team up to this point. She's hitting 545 here on the afternoon. Brooklyn Miller serves. The serves have been Fairly consistent and fairly difficult for Western Dubuque, but 
they're able to slam it back with Franny Heiberger. Heiberger, a senior. Entered the state tournament with 169 kills coming off of the bench, which is third most on the team. Nice to have that kind of added weapon. If you're Coach Sherman, Heiberger again. Set it to the front. Nicely played by Carly Yonker, notching her first kill on the day. Had to quickly adjust to that one mid-flight. Was able to get the point now. She serves, received by the Bobcats. They set it over the 10-foot line. Nothing going for the Bobcats there. And Kadlik. Not the most powerful swing, but gets the job done in front of the diving Bobcat defender. Xavier now five points away from claiming the second set. A service error, side out for Western Dubuque. Erica Ernzen back in to serve, just checking in. Heiberger and Isabel Ernzen out. Erica Ernzen with the serve. Brushed over by Sugar. Powerful swing right side, and that will be a big point for Wolfcool. Wolfcool, a junior. 178 kills entering the state tournament. Second most on the team. Ivester. Saints trying to get her going in the second set. Overhand set. Now to the weak side. And the long shot there from Kadlik. Just her second error on the day. Check that just her first. Bobcats within three points here in set number two. Ivester saw the hole in the defense. The back row was playing a little bit further back. Ivester. Able to notch kill number six here on the afternoon. Ace Service ace as Ramler didn't receive it cleanly. 22-17, Candlick serving. Ramler, touch to the back, great diving effort, Fandel with a free ball. Western Dubuque. Able to notch a point as Cedar Rapids Xavier is unable to save it on the second try. Ava Ramler now with five kills. Ramler with 17, a team high in the win over Indianola in that five-set thriller on Monday. Fandel. Meyer sends it over on the overpass, and Ivester is able to just loop it below. 23-18, Cedar Rapids Xavier looking to take a commanding two-set-to-nothing lead here in this semifinal battle. Ramler. Fandel is there. Turner. Meyer with the initial dig. Just a bit of a collision for Wolfcool. Ball ended up making contact with the antenna. Here is a set point for Cedar Rapids Xavier. Ivester serving. Lansing trying to keep things alive and able to do so. Just when you need a critical play, a critical point, number 11 is going to be able to bail you out. Just so, such strong leadership we've seen here in Coralville this week. Fandel trying to close the door on set number two, and she is able to as the Saints take set number two, 25 to 19, and now lead two sets to nothing in this class. For a semifinal here at the Girls State Volleyball Tournament on the Girls Union Network, powered by Mid American Energy. At Mid American Energy, we are.
our connectors. Protectors. Leaders. Job creators. Friends. And neighbors. And always at your service. The Iowa Farm Bureau is proud to present this amazing state tournament and celebrate the accomplishments of Iowa's student athletes. To the Iowa Farm Bureau, this is more than just a sport. It's hometown pride, it's hopes and dreams, it's our future leaders, it's a reason to do more and be more. And it's that farm strong spirit that can only be found in Iowa. Congratulations to the student athletes and coaches on a successful year and remember, Today's successes are just the beginning of tomorrow's achievements. By focusing only on meat and grocery, we can do those things to the best of our abilities. No frills, no gimmicks. You're gonna get top quality meat, top quality produce, top quality customer service. They always tell us, sell it as low as you can. Sell it as low as you possibly can. And we work hard so we can keep those prices lower. And that's what Fairway does to a lot of people. They take care of people. I have one thing to accomplish, and it's that. In Iowa, we all play by the same rules. Hard work pays off, practice makes perfect, success is something you earn, and teamwork helps us all be winners. The Iowa Pork Producers Association is proud to support statewide high school athletics. Because on our team and on yours, what we bring to the table is what brings us all together. Learn more about our commitment to Iowa at iowapork.org. Fans Official State Tournament merchandise is now available online, so now it's time to get your smartphones out. Just scan the QR code on your screen now or visit ighsau.org to browse and customize your merchandise to match your style. Student section on hand from Cedar Rapids Xavier, all white, in support of their Saints who are rolling here in the Class 4A semifinals up two sets to nothing against Western Dubuque. These two programs have claimed the last two Class 4A championships, but only one will make it to tomorrow's championship. Hunter Phillips along with our crew here on the Girls Union Network, powered by Mid-American Energy, Glad to have you with us here on semifinal Wednesday. 25-20, 25-19, Xavier taking those sets. Ella Meyer, Western Dubuque, serve to begin the third set. Cadlick picking up where she left off in the second set. And a team high in kills there in that second set. Looking at the stats from the second set altogether, pretty even in terms of hitting percentage. But clearly seven more kills for Cedar Rapids Xavier. And then two service aces coming at really opportune times helped the Saints eventually pull away. But Ava Rambler and the Bobcats, you know that they're not going to go down without a fight. Team that knows what it takes to perform at the highest level here on the biggest stage. And what was intended to be a set over to the left side for Fandel. You could see Coach Filer giving a little bit of a smile, laughter along with the rest of the team. Again, sometimes it's not how you draw it up, but Ivester was able to just pivot her body enough to set it over, and nobody was there for the Bobcats. Fandel had to wait for that one hanging up in the air for quite some time. But the Bobcats able to get the block by Libby Lansing. Unofficially two assisted blocks on the day for Libby Lansing. Ernzen back to serve for Western Dubuque. 
Lansing, right side, cross court, slams it down. 3-2 Western Dubuque. At state for the sixth time in school history, fourth straight appearance out of the Valley Division of the Mississippi Valley Conference. Ava Turner. Been that go-to in the center of that front row. Shoger with the serve. Heiberger. Unable to get blocked cleanly there by Xavier. Heiberger with the kill, her sixth. Her and Ava Rambler each with six. Libby Lansing with a team high eight for the Bobcats. Trying to make some noise in this third set, up by one. Lansing serving. They serve it up for Libby Fandel. And Fandel was able to get the kill. And now she will serve. Ernzen had a dive down to be able to retrieve it. Free ball here for the Saints. Kanlick. Oh, she wanted that one, but it's too long. 5-4. Western Dubuque. There you see the IMT Insurance substitution in for Western Dubuque. That is Ava Demmer serving. But Ava Turner right down the center. She will check out, and Brooklyn Miller now back in and serving for the Saints. Again, another terrific serve, and it's a service ace. First one on the afternoon for Miller. Three total Kruger Seed service aces for Cedar Rapids Xavier two of which came in the second set. Ernzen receives the serve. Four hits on Western Dubuque, and you could see a few of the Xavier players along the front row waiting for the whistle to be blown. Saints in front by two. Heiberger. Front set, and it gets blocked, and it goes out of bounds. Western Dubuque fans thought that that was still in play, but Carly Yonker able to notch her second kill on the afternoon. Another very productive serve by Brooklyn Miller. Ivester, double block in there. How about that combination coming through not once, but twice? Allie Ryder was there, as well as Wolf Cool. Back to serve is Erica Earns and checking in. Bobcats looking to battle their way back here. Ivester is too much for the Bobcats to handle on that try. And before Yonker serves it, an update from court number two, North Scott and Clear Creek Amanda tied at one set apiece. The winner of this match will await the winner of that match. And we'll play tomorrow in the 4A championship. Wolfpool credited with the kill, and now here's Ella Meyer. Ivester. Ranging over is Ernzen, but then Meyer got out of position, and the dig went out of play there towards the Western Dubuque bench.
Macy Cadlett serves it. Lansing able to storm back. Wolfpool serving for Western Dubuque. Lansing, her ninth kill on the day. They set it up for Ivester. Rambler met head on. They give her another try again. A little stumble there along the net. And make sure that Ivester is okay. A point is going to be awarded to Xavier. Bit of an overpass, and it was played by Xavier, then a stumble afterward. Makes the score 11-8. Saints and Ivester's serve goes into the net. Fourth service error as a team for Cedar Rapids Xavier today. Fandel right on the money. Meyer was just playing a little too far back. And so Fandel was able to take advantage. 12-9 for Fandel, her 14th kill of the day. Lansing met up by Turner. And you have Turner as well as Ivester right there. It is tough to get anything going. 13-9 and set number three for Cedar Rapids Xavier, who is up two sets to none on the Girls' Union Network, powered by Mid-American Energy. Obsessively, relentlessly at your service. To me, it means being there 24-7, rain or shine, during storms, after storms. Being a first responder to the community, to my customers. Being there to get the customers back on and to see the smiles on their face. To provide the kind of reliability that we can hold our heads high about and we want to keep our customers safe. Safety's first around here. And that's rewarding. Fans, we'd like to recognize the students from Western Dubuque as our creative corner of the match, brought to you by Think Iowa City, a collection of curious communities. Bobcat Nation sporting some face paint, Really all decked out, trying to will their team on. They are here in full spirit. They've been waiting to really erupt here at Extreme Arena. But so far, it has been Cedar Rapids Xavier who has been in control for much of the day. Libby Fandel set to the front. Meyer. A free ball sent further back. Cadillac, Fandel. Another try. Heiberger went past Miller. So just what Western Dubuque needed out of their timeout. Now it's just a matter of trying to string something together, which again is easier said than done against Cedar Rapids Xavier. But Western Dubuque, they've got the pieces to be able to do it, and they need it now more than ever. Couple players calling for it. And Heiberger able to drop it forward. Libby Lansing. All stater a year ago serves it. Service ace for Libby Lansing. Her first on the day, fourth as a team. Now down to a one-point lead here in the third set. But Libby Vandell able to respond right back. Just have a split second to be able to decide, okay, am I going to set it? Or am I going to put both my wrists together and be able to loft it. And a service error. 
Brings it back to a one-point deficit here for Ava Demmer, the senior. Serves it, received. Cadlick. Just so automatic today. Nine kills for Cadlick. And now Brooklyn Miller set to serve. Saints up by two. Cadwick lofts it up. In the center, it gets picked up. Heiberger sent right back. And now from the right side, Saints are able to keep it alive. And just a missed time jump for Ryder. That is just a killer for Western Dubuque because they really had Cedar Rapids Xavier on the ropes. But give the Saints credit for just not giving up on the play. 16-13. Dotted over by Heiberger. Oh, and just too much by Macy Cadlick taking over here in Coralville and Western Dubuque is going to call their second and final timeout here of the third set. We'll take one with them here on the Girls Union Network powered by Mid-American Energy. Obsessively, relentlessly at your service. To me, it means being there 24-7. Rain or shine, during storms, after storms. Being a first responder to the community, to my customers. Being there to get the customers back on and to see the smiles on their face. To provide the kind of reliability that we can hold our heads high about. And we want to keep our customers safe. Safety's first around here. And that's rewarding. Saints breaking out of the huddle up by four here in the third set. Up two sets to nothing against Western Dubuque. Two teams that have met plenty of times throughout the years, even here at State. Met earlier in the year back on October 11th at Xavier High School. Saints were able to win two sets to nothing. Western Dubuque's last win against the Saints came in the 2019 quarterfinals. They've got a lot of work to do to be able to come back in this one. But maybe this is where they can string something together. Miller sets it up for Cadlick. Meyer. Front set. And four hits. Wolfpool was the intended target there along that front row. Western Dubuque wanting an explanation. Ava Demmer, one of the seniors, wanting to get some sort of clarification. And you could tell that Coach Sherman not agreeing with how that was assessed. Long serve there from Miller. Side out here for the Bobcats. Erica Ernzen. Once again, substitutions today are brought to you by IMT Insurance. Learn how you can be worry-free with IMT at imtins.com. Saints keeping it alive. Cadillac, but have a out of play. Made illegal contact there, so it's a three-point lead, now a two-point lead off of a terrific serve for Erica Ernzen. Ivester keeping it alive as Ernzen in the back row. Oh, just too much on it from Rambler. Point 
That's now 18 attack errors on Western Dubuque on the day. Hitting now 126 compared to 323 for Cedar Rapids Xavier. Carly Yonker with a Kruger Seed service ace. And now the Saints can see the finish line up by five in this third set, but the Bobcats still within striking distance, just down by four. Cadillac right through the block. And once again, Western Dubuque does not have any timeouts remaining here in this third set. Yonker. And too much again for Ramler. Just cannot afford to give those up here. Down two sets to nothing and now down by six. Ramler. Ivester from the center. Right side. That was Wolf Cole. Cadlick, boy, she has been something today. 12 kills now for Cadlick, couple that with seven digs and an ace. Two point lead, or two points rather to go here in the set and match for Cedar Rapids Xavier, the top seed. Meyer for Western Dubuque. Great ball sent over by Libby Fandel. Ivester. A long volley. Who's it going to go to? Western Dubuque. Haley Wolfcool with her eighth kill of the day. And who you want to serve here? Ella Meyer. Match high, 16 digs on the day, has two assists. Cadillac from a little bit further back, and that provides Lansing with enough vision to be able to get her hands straight up and deny Cadillac another kill. 23-18, Cedar Rapids Xavier. Ivester with the free ball. Lansing dug up by Miller. Here's Cadillac. It's going to go over to Western Dubuque anyway as it's a double hit and a timeout on the floor by Cedar Rapids Xavier here on the Girls Union Network, powered by Mid American Energy. Obsessively, relentlessly at your service. To me, it means being there 24 7, rain or shine, during storms, after storms. Being a first responder to the community, to my customers. Being there to get the customers back on and to see the smiles on their face. To provide the kind of reliability that we can hold our heads high about. And we want to keep our customers safe. Safety's first around here. And that's rewarding. There you see the huddle for Western Dubuque. Trying to climb their way back. They have scored the last four points. I'll check that they have scored the last three points here in this third set. To climb within four points of Cedar Rapids Xavier. Up 23 to 19, two sets to nothing in this Class 4A semifinal. Ella Meyer with a critical service ace. Sixth on the day for Western Dubuque. Bobcats trying to apply some pressure here on the Saints. Cadillac. Dug up by Ernzen, but it goes to the scorer's table. Cadillac. Really, ever since the second set has been magnificent today, she will be back to serve as it is set and match point for Xavier. Ramler 
Ball sent into the student section. Rambler and the Bobcats not going down without a fight. Need a few more plays to go their way. Wolfpool will serve for Western Dubuque. Fandel. Dug up by Meyer. Fandel once again. Overpass, Fandel. Third time is not the charm. How about the fourth time? Dropped over. Rambler. What a volley here. Late in the third set. Fandel drops it down, but we have an infraction on Cedar Rapids Xavier, illegal contact. And now you're hearing Bobcat Nation start to roar. Still set and match point for Cedar Rapids Xavier. Serve goes out of bounds. Cedar Rapids Xavier, the top seed our championship bound. Western Dubuque gave it all they had there towards the end of the third set. But Cedar Rapids Xavier gets the sweep. Three sets to zero and they will move on to the championship match tomorrow. And they will either face North Scott who is now up two sets to one or they will face Clear Creek Amana. The Saints, spectacular here in Coralville. And now here in just a few moments, we'll turn it back down to Tim Fitzpatrick for the trophy presentation. Western Dubuque gave it all they had here today. Fans, please direct your attention to the Coralville presentation. In addition to receiving a team trophy, each participating player will receive a medallion and commemorative volleyball provided by the Iowa Farm Bureau, proud title sponsor, of the Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union. Presenting awards from the IGHSAU are Gene Berger, Aaron Kirtley, and Taylor Anderson. Congratulations to head coach Megan Sherman and the Bobcats from Western Dubuque on an outstanding 2022 volleyball season. And now, Naomi Duran and Sierra Duran from Xavier will advance their team onto the bracket to the championship match. Xavier fans, your team advances to the 4A championship and will play either North Scott or Clear Creek Amana tomorrow at 12.15 on center court. Congratulations, fans, you can meet your team. So Cedar Rapids Xavier, the top seed, will move on to the 4A championship, getting their second sweep here in the state tournament. Swept Bishop Heelan in the quarterfinals, and today is sweeping a very talented Western Dubuque team in the semifinals. Again, congratulations to the Bobcats, last year's champions in 4A, Coach Sherman. Bobcats finishing the year at 25 and 11. So again, three sets to nothing. Cedar Rapids Xavier sweeps Western Dubuque in the Class 4A semifinals. On behalf of our crew here in Coralville, I'm Hunter Phillips. And thank you for watching our live coverage of the 2022 Girls State Volleyball Tournament presented by the Iowa Farm Bureau on the Girls Union Network, powered by Mid-American Energy. Protectors, leaders, job creators, friends, and neighbors, and always at your service.
you. Sometimes people who seem to know everything. Dental insurance costs a fortune and it covers nothing. Don't. For instance, personal plans from Delta Dental cut the cost of many procedures in half. So be careful what you hear. How important are teeth anyway? Get the facts. Contact Delta Dental about saving with personal dental plans today. <laughs> The Iowa Farm Bureau is proud to present this amazing state tournament and celebrate the accomplishments of Iowa's student athletes. To the Iowa Farm Bureau, this is more than just a sport. It's hometown pride, it's hopes and dreams, it's our future leaders, it's a reason to do more and be more. And it's that farm strong spirit that can only be found in Iowa. Congratulations to the student athletes and coaches on a successful year and remember, Today's successes are just the beginning of tomorrow's achievements.